What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We're back and I figured I would bring you guys back in at the very tail end of the hour-long Kuva survival uh, deal. So we have been doing the night wave requirements. No, uh, no life support capsules can be popped. So what we're doing instead, of course, is trying to get as much Kuva as we possibly can out of them and absolutely demolishing these uh, uh, <laughs> these guys. Um, currently, uh, I think I ran out of ammo on my uh, on my primary. I need to pop a couple ammo pizzas to get my ammo back where it needs to be. I'm doing less and less damage as we go, of course, because the enemies are scaling up to as high as 130. So let me pop on a bunch of ammunition for myself. Let me get my shadows back up and going. Um, we're doing good. We have 6,200 Kuva at this point in time. It is literally just me and Distance of Shadows in here. So straight up shout out to Distance of Shadows. Um, she has her YouTube channel. that will be listed down in the description below. Uh, go give her a follow. But uh, she needed to do the night wave. I actually did it yesterday on stream with a good friend of mine. Um, but we... Uh, uh, not my stream, it was their stream. And uh, Distance needed to get it done, and I was in need of some Kuva, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get in there and knock this out. So here we are, just the two of us, running through this Kuva survival. I'm running Necros, of course, running a Desecration build. Um, I, am, I am running the conventional um, uh, life, like a health drain Desecration, what's it called? I forget. I forget what the, the name of the augment is called, but it uses my health instead of my energy. That way I can throw Shield of Shadows up whenever I need it. Um, it does, uh, my Desecration will never use that energy that I need for my um, uh, sh uh, Shield of Shadows? I don't think I have Shield... I don't have Shield of Shadows on. I'm pretty sure. But I do have my uh, health conversion, which you can see keeping me alive. Uh, doing a pretty good job of it as well. Uh, let me switch over to my comb, actually, because my comac has fallen off quite a bit at this point, and uh, actually my comb has fallen off quite a bit at this point as well. Um, I'm running everything to basically get as many uh, slash, you know, slash things going, so that I can get as many desecrations as I possibly can. But with one minute left and enemies at 130 plus, uh, my weapons personally have fallen off, but um, if I wasn't trying to get say, my my slash uh, slash thing going and getting the, the enemies dismembered, um, I'd probably use a, a better weapon, but uh, this is working. It works out pretty good. Uh, Distance of Shadows is running a, an Octavia, which is doing work because of the little, little orb deal. The little orb that's flying around doing its thing. Oh, let me get my, my shadows back up. Um... But it's doing work because it's confusing the enemies. It's dealing damage to the enemies as you know as they attack it. Um, not to mention the ability to go invisible and all of that stuff from from Octavia's uh, metronome. Isn't that what it's called? Metronome um, is doing you know is quite literally keeping us alive many times. Uh, we just hit that 60 minutes, so we are pretty much good to extract. Um, it was a fun ride. It was absolutely a fun ride. We could technically still keep going. I mean, we've got plenty of life support, um, you know, uh, to, to keep us alive. We could potentially kill enemies to get that additional life support. But to be honest, with our weapons falling off there and, and the, the 60 minutes done, there is literally no reason for us to keep going. Um, distance is over there. I think I think we're we're preparing to go. Um, Oh, she dropped another uh, Kuva thing in the in the in the harvester. Oh, okay. I walked right into the fire. Um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> we technically could stick around for some more Kuva, um, but man, um, what a fun, what a fun challenge. Um, the reason I know a lot of people are not too crazy about this challenge because. Uh, oop, distance just went down. Uh, I'm gonna throw my, my shield shadows thingies in. Uh, oh, let me, uh, actually be smart about this and use my operator to, to pick her up. 
but um yeah for, i forgot exactly what i was saying but um we're, we're technically good on time we could bounce on out of here but um it's nice it's nice having all that kuva we're at uh 6800 kuva which is really nice um that's like what two maybe two rolls of a ribbon uh you know um depends on the ribbon and how many times it's been rolled but um it could potentially be be one or less than one if uh you know if i have a really high high rolled ribbon that i need to roll again but anyway 62 minutes in it's been a lot of fun oh yeah i was saying uh i really do like the challenge i never do these really long uh like long survivals uh, i used to but at this point after you run four waves there's not really a reason to run survivals this long so it's a nice change of pace to be able to uh to hop in for for a challenge that the game is throwing at you for uh the opportunity to get your hands on you know even though it's it's like experience it eventually gives you an, a, a reward i really like that i really like that i'm a big fan of the the night watch um i really would like to see a little bit more variation in some of the challenges but I'll tell you what, it definitely makes me walk into Warframe or log into Warframe and go, oh, let's 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 do something, you know, something that I don't usually do on a regular day to day basis. And Nightwatch allows me to do that, which is pretty nice. Yep. <laughs> grabbing another Kuva Harvester, knocking it out. Um, very cool. We're doing we're, we're making short work of this. Just the two of us uh, pulling this off. Um, great. Great uh, team synergies. Uh, definitely Necros is, I don't want to say a must-have, but it's fantastic to have in these Kuva survivals because it drops uh, so much more additional life support. Uh, let me actually, I'm just going to just gonna drop like 15 pizzas of all, all sorts uh, here so that we can, oop. Oh, did I have a bleed proc? I had a bleed or slash proc on. Um, but... Yeah, look at that, 157 level enemies, 147, 157 enemies in there. Um, <laughs> it's great, it's great. But Team Synergies, Necro's pretty much a must-have. Octavia is insane because of her buffs and her ability to, uh, come on, come on, my, my crouch button is not working. What is going on? You see that? Um, boop, there we go. Um, Anyway, uh, Octavia, fantastic. Her buffs and all that stuff are are beautiful to work with. Um, a good Saren. You can see that there are Saren spores on the screen. That's because we have a Spectre out. A really good Saren, a, a really good DPS, like, damage dealer, like Saren, is fantastic. Uh, Mesa is also good. However, Saren, because she can uh, hit enemies through walls and all that stuff, um, or, or at, least, at least she has better ways of getting that line of sight going, um, I prefer Saren, but Mesa definitely works. Uh, who else? Who else is pretty good? Um, when I ran it yesterday, I forgot. Oh, Limbo. Limbo can be fantastic because Limbo can basically, uh, take a lot of the, the, you know, the defense rolls, uh, just by putting a bunch of stuff in, in the rift. It can basically put the objective in the rift and keep it alive for Kuva and stuff like that. So Limbo's a great way to do it. Um, but, yeah. Um, huh, I guess I guess you could throw Frost in there. If you have a really solid Frost build, you could throw Frost in here. Um, if you guys do have a specific frame that you like to run this with, if there's something I'm not thinking of, uh, feel free to drop that in the comments. Um, I think Nidus. Nidus could also be pretty good. Oh, Trinity, of course, because of keeping people alive. But Nidus could be pretty good because he does have the opportunity to heal a bit. He definitely can keep himself alive through his, his stacks and all that stuff. Um, he does a decent job if you uh, if you do that like Locust Swarm thing to, uh, to, to CC some enemies. Um, he's not necessarily designed to be strictly a CC, you know, uh, a Warframe, but he can pull it off uh, if, you, if you're doing it right. But very cool, very, very fun. Um, here we are, <laughs> approaching 70 minutes. <laughs> I need to get some health. Oop. Um, I could probably drop down there and risk grabbing some health orbs, but I'm walking into a another group of enemies to do so. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, I keep shooting my own specters. Um, 
or shadows, whatever. Uh, boop, 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 take him out. Um, I haven't dropped a specter of my own out. I put out a uh, a uh, ancient healer specter, whatever you want to call it, but I, I don't have a warframe specter. I need to go run some spy missions to get my own uh, uh, my own warframe specters. That way, I can get like my Saren or my Mesa or you know whatever in here. I guess Mesa. Uh, the Mesa AI for Spectres is only so smart. Um, you can see Saren, we kind of have her propped in a corner and just, you know, using spores and all of that wonderful stuff, and she's doing a great job. Um, <laughs> I, I'm complimenting it like it's, a, like it's a person, but it's an AI, but doing a great job. It's got a Spectre over there keeping it alive. Pretty fantastic. But, um, yeah, you could even throw a Trinity in it as a Spectre. You know what? I would love to see... I have, I've never looked it up, but I'm sure someone's done it. But I would love to see someone solo this challenge with, say, a Trinity Spectre. Um, and they run, like, a Saren or something like that. And they just solo the crap out of this. You know what? That's that's a good idea. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. But, anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, 70 minutes almost. Going on 69 having a lot of fun but uh, we'll take care of these guys we'll get on out of here in due time but I think I think that's all I have to say um, maybe I'll drop the uh, the final the final time down in the description for you guys so you guys know you know how long we went for I don't think we're gonna go much longer like <laughs> like our weapons our weapons are falling off um, really if I get a good shield you know or shadows in here oh I need to heal I need to heal. Let me throw a couple health health pieces down. But oh, my desecration's gone. Oh, that's because I went down to m minimum health. Um, yeah, just just so you guys can see how long I went. Um, I don't think we're staying around too much longer. But especially because I'm running out of ammo and ammo pizzas. But I remember I remember I did this last time with Distance of Shadows, uh, just the two of us, and we ended up squeaking out. At the very, very end, uh, we had, like, when we hit 60 minutes, we had, like, 10% life support left. And it's pretty much my fault because I ran out of ammo pizzas and energy, or not energy pizzas, health, health pizzas to keep my necros alive. And it became a real struggle. So I was running on melee and sticking around my, uh, my... Spectre at the time in order to keep myself alive, but here we are, absolutely decimating these uh, Kuva, you know, Kuva whatever, Kuva soldiers. In the second time we did it, because we kind of know what to expect at this point, yeah, we're actually absolutely destroying them. Over 70% life support, pulling Kuva left and right. What was where are we at? 7,200 Kuva. Um, getting all of that. Oh my gosh, look at all that all the energy and health we just picked up and ammo and this desecration man i'm telling you necros necros bring a necros along and it'll be so much easier so much easier oh also corrosive projection uh very very nice to have corrosive projection in here to uh remove a lot of the enemy's armor um if you have if you're running a, a squad of four and you have everybody with corrosive projection Everything is going to die much faster. Um, let me. I haven't been using using my uh, my operator much. Um, I need to get in the habit of using him more. But uh, anyways, anyways, I need to be pulling more weight on this team. <laughs> but uh, with me talking as much as I am, uh, I'm I'm focusing too much on the dialogue rather than the gameplay. So let me let me end it here. We are 70 minutes in. We're doing a fantastic job. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thanks for being a part of the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you very much to, like I said, Distance of Shadows for uh, for coming in here and knocking this out. Of course, um, I've already done this, um, but I needed the Kuva, and it is fun. It is fun to jump in here and pull off a mission like this. Um, so thank you very much, Distance of Shadows. Jump over, subscribe to her channel. Um, she's got uh, well over 1,000 subscribers at this point. And, uh, yeah, yeah, give her some love. So, 
anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, do I have? Oh, I forgot to put the uh, the howl the howl emote on. I forgot to put the howl emote on. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Do I have a funny emote that we could? You know what? Let's do this. Let's do the wave. Even though I'm invisible, let's do the wave. Blah.